Welcome to the series of Blender Tutorials. This tutorial is about the file browser and the info panel in Blender 2.59. This script has been contributed by Panu Prakash and edited by Monisha Banerjee. After watching this tutorial, we shall learn what is file browser and info panel and the different options available in both. I assume that you know the basic elements of the Blender interface. If not, then please refer to our earlier tutorial, Basic Description of the Blender Interface. Go to the Editor Type menu at the bottom left corner of the 3D view. Left click to open the menu. This contains a list of different types of windows available in Blender. Left click File Browser. This is File Browser. Here we can locate our blend files saved on our system. These four arrow buttons help us move around inside our directory. Back arrow will take us to the previous folder. For keyboard shortcut, press backspace. Forward arrow will take us to the next folder. For keyboard shortcut, press shift and backspace. Up arrow button will take you to the parent directory. For keyboard shortcut, press P. Refresh button will refresh the file list on your current directory. Create new directory will create a new directory or folder inside your current directory. These buttons will help you to arrange your files or folders sequentially. Filter button will enable filtering of files inside your directory. Only the active icons present next to the filter tab will be visible inside the directory. So that was about the file browser window in Blender. Go to editor type menu at the top left corner of the file browser. Left click to open the menu. Left click 3D view. We are back to the default Blender workspace. Now let's have a look at the info panel. The topmost panel in the Blender interface is the info panel, the main menu panel. Left click file. Here we have open a new or an existing file. Save the file. User Preferences window and Import and Export options. Left click Open. This will open a browser similar to the file browser. You can open a blend file from here which you have already saved on your system. Activating Load UI before opening a file will help you to open the blend file with the user interface or UI that you have saved for the same. Left click back to previous to exit the open file window. Add contains a repository of different objects that you can add to your scene. Left click add. Here is the object repository. We can add new objects to the 3D view using this menu. For keyboard shortcut, press Shift and A. 
Now, let's add a plane to the 3D view. Left click anywhere on screen to move the 3D cursor. I am choosing this location. Press Shift and A to bring up the Add menu. Mesh. Left click Plane. A new plane is added to the 3D view at the 3D cursor position. To understand about 3D cursor, please see the tutorial Navigation 3D Cursor. Similarly, you can try adding some more objects to the 3D view. Now, let's go back to the Info panel. Left click Render to open the Render menu. Render contains image or video render options like Render Image, Render Animation, Show or Hide Render View, etc. Render settings will be covered in detail in later tutorials. Go to the square icon next to Help in the Info panel. This is Choose Screen Layout. This shows us the default Blender interface we are working on. Left click Choose Screen Layout. This list gives you a different layout options. Animation, Compositing, Game Logic, Video Editing. You can choose any one depending on your requirements. Left click anywhere on the Blender screen or press escape on your keyboard to exit Choose Screen Layout. Scene shows the current scene we are working on. So this was about the info panel. Now try to create a new directory on your system using the file browser in Blender. Then change the screen layout from default to animation. And that completes this tutorial on file browser and info panel. This tutorial is created by Project Oscar and supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on the same is available at the following links oscar.iitb.ac.in and spoken-tutorial.org slash NME ICT dash intro. Thanks for joining us. And this is Monisha from IIT Bombay signing off.